they killed the goats. You know, the sound of my voice is a preacher. You've hit some stuff in my life today. You brought some things home to me. Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Ghost is dealing with you right now. If he came now, you know you're not ready. Jesus said in John 11 and 26, He that liveth and believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Believest thou this? I want to ask you, do you believe like that? That was Jesus' definition of faith. He that lives what he believes. It ain't faith in God until you're believing what you're believing. James 2.19 said, Thou believest there is one God and you do well, but demons also believe and tremble. Friend, do you realize the author of atheism himself, Satan, he believes in God. He even does more than some church people do today. He actually trembles. Yet he don't live for the God he believes in. They're what I refer to as the believing atheist and the practicing atheist. The practicing atheist is the one we're more accustomed to that's more popular. Atheism, even in this nation and world, that says there is no God. We don't believe there's a God, therefore we're not accountable to anyone. We do what we want, how we want, with no fear of any repercussions thereof concerning our actions. But then there's the believing atheists. They say with their mouth, I believe in God. They attend church. They go through the religious scenes that they're accustomed to on Sundays often. They read their Bible. They pray when they got a problem. But yet the way they live denies God's existence. I know what I'm talking about because almost well over 25 years ago, I've been doing this thing now by the power of God and His faith. Right at 25 years. And before then, growing up, I, I remember going to church with people who said with their mouth, I believed. But as soon as they went out the door, me an unbeliever, when I'd look at their life, I would think, I remember thinking as a young man, God, they ain't no different than I am. They did the same sins I did. They were involved in the same stuff I would have been. And I knew I weren't right. So a believing atheist, someone who says, I believe in God, like Titus 1.16, they profess with their mouth they know God, but yet in their works they deny it. Do you say with your mouth, I believe in him, but yet with the way you live, it declares he don't even exist. Think about it. I'll get you to think about it. Maybe you'll let him do something about it. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. I want to count the three when I do. I don't want a hand raised. Here's what I want from you because this is what I hear the Holy Ghost say he when I hit the number three in just a few moments, if you know there's areas of your life that are shades of gray, places of compromise, and there's some little room of thought inside of you, if he came right now, this would keep me from going in the rapture. If, if, if I was to die today, if I never made it back to church tonight, this is the last service I was in, that thing, if I didn't deal with that one thing I know I got in my life that I keep covering up, that I won't, that I won't bring up, I'll just keep covering up and I know it's wrong. Lord, if that, that one thing, it can keep me from entering through gates of pearl, walking on streets of gold. God says, if that's you, when that number three hits, if you really mean business, if you really want a life-altering experience with him in this honor, you must come unashamed. For if you're ashamed of me before men, said the Lord, I'll be ashamed of you before my angels and my Father in heaven. So when I hit that number three, come from where you are, 
whether you can kneel, whether you have to stand, whatever you got to do, to come. I'm not going to put a microphone up under your chin and ask you to say one thing. Your actions are going to speak louder than any word you could speak. When you get up and come, you're saying loudly to every demon spirit, I'm no longer under your control, but I'm surrendering to the Lord Jesus Christ. I belong to Him. When you get up and move, knowing that He's calling you, and you obey Him, that there, my friend, declares louder than anything, your actions. Your actions will speak louder than your words will ever speak because the faith call God calls you to do is to do what you believe, to believe what you believe. Demons believe and they tremble, so it's not good enough just to believe. God said, I need you to believe on. I need you to act on what you say you believe in. If there's something between you and him and he has brought that to your attention, he's brought it up so you might bring it to him and repent of it and let him cleanse you in this hour of the day. Holy Ghost, God, I give you glory. If you'll take that first CD I had and put on track 14. The first CD I had, put on track 14. CD 1, track 14. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Here it is, countdown to forever. What if this is your last time? This is what the Holy Ghost is saying in these latter times. Will you depart from the faith today? Will you walk away from it? Or will you run to it? Jesus shed his blood on that Roman rugged cruel cross. So you might be forgiven. Psalms 86 and 5 said the Lord's ready to forgive those that are called on his name. He's more ready to give you his grace and forgiveness than you already even received. What should I do, preacher, when I hit the number three? Come. One. Two. Three. Come. When this song ends, I'll be through. Turn that music on. Come on, just, just come like y'all are. Don't, don't leave nowhere. Just come on. Wander through my life. Thinking I have plenty of time. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for what you've done. Thank you for what.
what you're doing, Jesus. Just let it go to track 16. If you'll skip it to track 16 and just let the music play. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Come on, don't be in a hurry if you're in the hall. Don't be in a hurry. Don't be in a hurry. You hear me, best God. Thank you for my girl, Jesus. I was lost. I was in shame. World had a hold on me. My heart was a stone. Put on my shadow of this. When you came for me, I couldn't run, couldn't run from his presence. I couldn't run, couldn't run from his arms. Jesus. Jesus, thank you. That your love was commended, shown openly toward us. While we were yet sinners, you died for us, Romans 5 and 8. You said in Hebrews 2 3, How shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? God, I thank you for what you're doing in these altars. I pull my hand to that camera, God. People are watching the future around the world through media. Lord God, I pray people come to you right now in Jesus' name. If you're watching, don't just watch, watch and pray. Matthew 13 says to do exactly that. Watch and pray. Call on His name. Today is the day of salvation, 2 Corinthians 6 and 2. Don't boast yourself in tomorrow. You don't know what that day is going to bring. Proverbs 27 and 1. Hebrews 3, 7 says, Wherefore today, if you will hear the voice of the Holy Ghost, call on Him while it's today. Yesterday's history, tomorrow's a mystery, but the day is a gift from God. This is why we call it the present. Now is all you got. Right now, right now is the time. Today is the accepted time. Today is the day of salvation, 2 Corinthians 16.